Hi, this is Jim Shade, CACP Lecture 1, Module 1, Book 1, Chapter 1, Introduction to the Supply Chain. Now we have finished the uh, Chapter 1 and we go towards the MCQs before the video starts. So I request you to please subscribe my channel so that gives me more motivation to make more uh, videos for you. Okay, the question number 1, I give you a gap then you have to think that which is the right answer and for which lecture you can get this answer. So number one is te technically speaking, which of the following combination of companies is sufficient to constitute to a supply chain? Uh, a is any network of suppliers, B is two suppliers and a customer, C is a supplier, a nucleus firm and a customer, D is two manufacturers and a distributor, E is all of above. So you need to think which is which answer is okay, either A, B, C, D, E. Okay, the answer is C. So it is in the chapter one, CSCP lecture one. You can review it and check this one. Why this this one is the answer? And uh, because technically you need three entities to make a supply chain. One is a supplier, one is a manufacturer, or the middle firm, nucleus firm, and third one is the customer. So remember this one. This is very important concept. Question number two is true or false, supply chain management can be applied only to the supply chain within a manufacturing company in the middle. So think about the answer. Uh, the answer is the false. You can check this from the YouTube CACP lecture three because the activities of a supply chain should be beyond the lim beyond the focus of the nucleus firm or the general master like Walmart. For example, Walmart, your supply chain activities should be on that certain entity. For example, it, it can be employees, it can be suppliers, it can be customers. So it, it will give uh, give value added addition to each of the uh, each of the entities in the chain. Hope you understand it. You can go for the YouTube. Question number three is uh, when Henry Ford organized Ford Motor Companies to include raw material extractions and dealerships as well as his assembly lines he created which of the following vertical supply chain, lateral supply chain, US equivalent of Kiasto, number 4 is monopoly. So check the, what what's the answer in your mind? The answer is the vertical supply chain because the vertical supply chain is uh, having your you know managing your supplies from raw material to the end customers and that is the answer you can check it from the CSCP lecture 4 on the number number 4 is which of the following is the primary benefit of vertical supply chain multi organizational connectivity along the supply chain B is economies of scale at each supply chain node c is control d is focus on the core competencies is the answer is control c you can check ccb lecture 4 in the youtube so control is the basic and benefit of vertical integration where you control and you own everything from the extraction of raw material and from to distributor and to the end customers there you have the strong control you don't need to rely Question number five, which of the following is the supply chain evolution state in which the nucleus firm begins initiatives to improve efficiency, effectiveness, quality within functional areas? A is multi-difunctionals, B is semi-functionals, C is integrated enterprise, D is extended enterprise. So what's your answer in your mind? Okay, uh, check this answer is B, semi-functional enterprise because at the stage of semi-functional enterprise, you just started focusing to improve the efficiency of each department like you, uh, tech, you make a quality uh, uh, logistics, you make a quality uh, marketing department, each functional areas you improve at to that limit. Number six is which of the following is supply chain evolution stage in which a nucleus company begins initiatives to improve efficiency, effectiveness, and quality within this functional areas? A is multi difunctional organization, B is semi functional enterprise, C is 
integrated enterprise d is extended enterprise here the answer okay just check what you think the answer should be okay i'll, I'll let you know the answer is b semi-functional enterprise so in the semi-functional enterprise you can check it from my cscp lecture 2 on the face in the youtube and uh, let's define the semi-functional enterprise is that enterprise that bring improvement in the functional areas of an organization so that is in, in the evolution is in the is on the stage two so it um, like marketing logistics uh, of company operations sales so each functional area is defined and improved so remember it's an evolution state so you have to see my lecture CSCP lecture